Well, it's been an amazing 90 days at the company. So it, I'm still very new, but I've learned quite a lot. And the industry itself is in a really interesting place when you combine what's going on with the upfronts uh, or not. And then what uh, has happened obviously with the pandemic and people working from home and obviously media habits and consumer behavior has changed tremendously in a very rapid period of time allowing for a lot of uncertainty. So with the, I don't know, call it the chaos of all of that, um, marketers are really needing game-changing solutions to actually help them solve through these questions that they've never had to uh, address before. Some obviously have and some they haven't. And ultimately it's been a focus on finding, you know, you know and reaching desired audiences and driving better results. Um, what I've been really excited about Amobi is as a company, uh, I always talk about the company as the, the, uh, the, the unique distinctive company that gives you the and. And what I mean by that is it's the ability to connect broadcast linear TV and CTV and social and digital with extraordinarily rich data and business intelligence on a single or really simple to use platform that's exactly what the industry is hungry for now. And, and I have to say, Amobi's TV and digital capabilities are truly uniquely uh, unmatched by any other company in the space. Uh, while other platforms focus on just the CTV and the digital portion of our industry, I'm glad I've joined a company uh, that recognizes the importance of planning and allocation across all channels on an omni-channel basis, including broadcast, linear broadcast, and social, um, as it's just critical for us in terms of how we solve this problem or these challenges of the day. And you know, in this unpredictable world right now, the amazing data pool that you know the Amobi technology sits on is truly uh, helping marketers figure out how to solve these incredible questions that are upon us now. Whether it's when are my people shopping and how do I make sure that uh, I'm actually delivering media when they are in store based on what I have on shelf, to how do I portfolio optimize when I buy media in the upfront and how do I think of all of the brands that I have uh, within my portfolio and how do I maximize both incremental reach as well as drive efficiency? So there's just a tremendous amount of, of assets and capabilities that this company has. And you know, the, uh, the other last thing I would say is just the fact that um, a lot of people don't know the Amobi of today. And that's probably been one of the most exciting things that I have been um, able to talk to a lot of my senior industry relationships about on the agency and brand side. One could argue that this is an 18 month old company because the videology acquisition was only 18 months ago and then the prior year was turned. So the who Amobi is today is different than the Amobi of the past. Tell us a little bit more about Linear, uh, which is something that Videology has pioneered and sort of what the opportunities are around, um, you know, buying Linear in a more addressable way, in a more uh, audience specific way. To me, that's one of the most exciting parts of what we're doing uh, as a company. And it's been fun for me to actually just educate uh, or to actually investigate, like, what are the gaps in the marketplace and what are people to, trying to solve for? What I love about what we're doing, not just in linear TV, but in connected TV as well, is building the bridges between the, the bridge between those two to help people unlock value that they've never seen before um, and do it in an automated, data driven, and data informed way. What we've also been focusing on is helping um, marketers see that with our technology, we can help them in this time when there's a desire for more flexibility, leveraging the right technology solution that's enhanced by data-driven optimization. And that powers the flexibility that more like than ever before. The other thing that we've been doing with a lot of brands recently, and for a while, but more recently than ever, is as the acceleration of both CTV has been significant, but even also uh, linear has grown as well. And that's a, a sizable pie. You know, if you think about e-marketer stats from um, the most recent um, e-marketer stats in terms of uh, the size of that marketplace, the last numbers were about 70, $80 billion for the linear uh, uh, side of the business. And CTV was somewhere around the, 
you know, seven, eight, nine uh, billion dollars. What we do is help people understand how we can actually use data across all of that. So that's why I go back to what I said earlier. It's really about the and, and then with and versus an or. And then separately, what we can do is, again, use data and our technology to help people solve for the challenges of a more holistic, omni-channel um, world that we're living in. And we help both the broadcaster side and on the agency and marketer side solve these questions because our partnerships are on both sides. So to me, that's one of the unique propositions of this company that I think is, is, is great and more needed now than ever in terms of who we are and the, the solution that we provide. And my job has been a lot of fun because a lot of people, again, back to us being arguably an 18 month old company or a 18 month old startup, we've really um, been pioneering a lot of this technology and a lot of folks just haven't really gotten to know the new Amobi of today. So if someone asks you, are you guys a DSP, a video DSP, how do you respond to that? I would actually say we are a hybrid. We are actually a DSP with a really, really rich DMP. Our DMP is an incredible advertising engine. And that's really what we are building is a holistic advertising engine for brands. So yes, we are a DSP and a DMP, but we're far more than that in terms of the, the broadcast technology that we have also that really enables marketers and, and, and uh, agencies to solve really chewy questions about what do I buy? How much do I buy? How do I allocate? And all of that can then be leveraged with the broadcast community. And then obviously we've got an incredibly rich DSP with a combined rich DMP that delivers uh, performance in really exceptional ways.